So Chris, uh, I noticed that um, on the layout, um, one of the problems we seem to have introduced is because we're guilty of running full length trains, um, we often suffer from, suffer from coupling failures. But I've noticed this year that uh, that doesn't seem to be happening as much. Is, has something changed? It has changed. So from your previous videos, I'm sure your viewers remember uh, the conversations we've had about one of our biggest problems has been couplings. Um, we've tried all sorts of couplings and we've had to resort to the traditional hook and loop couplings. Um, this year, I've swapped them all out for my own design of magnetic couplings. So we've got every train bar about two running on magnets and it has transformed how this railway has run. And it's really pleasing to see that. Uh, so each train has got my own design of couplings, which we can show you later. And there's nothing very special about them. They're 3D printed, and I've super glued some magnets in. Um, but what it enables you to do, because they're 3D printed, we can design a coupling specific for the truck or wagon coach that they're going to go into. And that means you can get really close couplings with, say, these Mark 1 coaches here, or you can have really strong magnets in our really heaviest trains, like the intermodals here. But the biggest benefit we've seen is with our short wheelbase trucks. So things like this Castle Cement, when they had hook and loops in, you get a short on the layout, and because you're running a long train, all the trucks are then banging into each other as the locomotive stopped. And then as the short is cleared and the, the train, the locomotive goes back to full, its full speed, you get this snatch effect happening in all the trucks. And that again causes the trucks to come off the track. Um, so with the ma magnets now, you can see here, we've got the entire train is one block. So there's no looseness. It moves as a single piece. It, that's right, yeah. So we don't get that that snatch effect which derails the trains and all that combined has led to a much more reliable robust running of our trains it was interesting one of the volunteers mentioned to me yesterday i can now trust the train to go out and come back in one piece that's that's a significant improvement so Forgive me the ignorance, but what's wrong with the tension lock couplings that we get on all the trains? Because they have, well, A, they don't look very nice, so aesthetically they're not great, but B, they have all of this um, uh, looseness in the couplings. So right. they bang into each other, they stop, and they snatch and pull, just like traditional trucks right. in the real world, the yes. old, old ones used to be. And that's why you had a guards van on the back to keep those couplings taut as the train moved along. Otherwise, the couplings would snap in real life. And is a coupling as simple as a device that just waggles from side to side, and what's the big deal, or is there a bit more to it? Well, so the coupling keeps the train together. Right. Right, so it's integral and really important that we have reliable couplings. Right. And that's what we haven't had to date, right. uh, is that reliability to keep the trains from derailing and you can trust it to go out and come back again. What about the challenges of you know, vertical movement where you start to go up or down an incline? Does, uh, that, does that impact couplings? Um, so in most of the NE NEM pockets, you have a certain latitude right. and, and it seems to be working fine. On, on my helixes at home, it, it works fine. Brilliant. But the, the other benefit I've seen from moving to this is our, the number of shorts on the layout has decreased significantly, I would say by about 50%. Right. And, and it's something I didn't expect, but it, I think it's because our volunteers and operators are no longer having to cope with derailments. And we, yeah. Their concentration mm -hmm is now on running the train and changing the points correctly before Rather than has it fallen off yeah so so the train falls off in the front people go over try to put it back forget they've got a train in transit mm -hmm. and it hits a point or the train and we create a short so there's a knock-on effect from making these trains more reliable you know operators can concentrate more instead of having to worry about and put stuff back on the track. Right. They can concentrate on getting the trains around right. properly. I mean, the nightmare scenario when I would be operating the slow lines is you've got a train on a bend and then you get a short and you're guaranteed that you're going to have to put something back on. Exactly right. And I've noticed myself this year that yeah. that's not been an issue at all. That's I right. expect it to come back as it yeah. went out. Yeah. And, oh. and it's, it's, it's really really good. Really pleased at how that's come out. Good. Okay. So let's have a look in detail at the coupling then. Let's get close with it. So we've got the snap action. And can I see the magnets themselves? So it's very, uh, it's, it's like a low profile coupling, isn't it? It's... Um, they're cylindrical magnets. Right. And, and this is just a 3D printed 
parts, but I can design it right. to create a close coupling for whatever wagon. Um, so we can see on the Mark ones here how mm. close the how close those coaches are now together, uh, and it looks far better when they're like that. It looks more realistic, doesn't yeah, it? That's right. So you were saying on the uh, on the heaviest train, it's working flawlessly. Which that, which train is that? That's right. So our, our, our intermodal, which is really heavy train, right, uh, is working on my powerful magnets there. Because, so we can see that here. And so the beauty of it, with because they're 3D designed, I've also designed it to to be a knuckle coupling. So it's got cylindrical magnets inside, but around the magnet, I've designed it so it looks like a proper prototypical knuckle coupling. Right. Okay, there we go. Your driver's got the cup of tea. Is it a good brew? Yeah, it's 
Kaftan çarştı. Gol da bitse geldi. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Ya, bana bir yer verin.